Welcome back everyone. 716 is the time getting water to people in desperate need. A new discovery at the University of Texas may be the solution for more than 2 billion people who face water scarcity issues. KXAN's Eric Henriksen takes an in-depth look. Water all around us, but in surprisingly short supply. Flowers salts and sugar in our kitchen is likely to like become a chunk you know after if you left it outside which means those stuff are likely to absorb the water in the air inspired by witnessing this reaction dr nancy guo and a team with the university of texas got to work they combined common ingredients including a supplement used for dieting to create this a thin film polymer that's uh, really good at extracting the water from the air. More importantly, it can then release that water. It can be used uh, many times, like literally many times, w without degradation of performance. Here's how it works. The film attracts water vapor from the air and then turns into a gel. You just uh, do a very mild heating. At around 110 degrees, what's called a hydrophobic reaction takes place. The water vapor is then released all at once. It can then be easily collected, cooled, and turned into water. The gel reverts back to a film where it can then repeat the process. We can do multiple cycles, like 15 to 24 cycles per day. The film attracts water when the humidity is above 15%. You can make as large as you want and any shape you want. Nancy says the military funded the project. They want a soldier to work in a very like dry, like desert places that they can collect water. A single pound of the film costs about a dollar and can produce between <laughs> one and two gallons of water per cycle. More than 40 gallons of water per day. So for drinking water, you might need to boil it just to make sure that it doesn't have a bacteria. But for farmers, Nancy says boiling isn't needed. In Austin, Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News. And the researchers are planning to perform further tests on the material. They hope to increase the amount of ways each pound can release and find better ways of converting the water vapor into liquid.